various evils spoken of when on your part he is glorified. But let none of you suffer as a murderer, or as a thief, or as an evildoer, or as a busy busybody in other men's matters. Yet if any man suffer as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify God on his behalf. Here we go, every single day. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> See? <laughs> wow. They just show up out of nowhere, just out of nowhere. <laughs> this is so sick. joke <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's not a Home Depot game you should just hear gang stalking yeah <laughs>
Speak thou the things which become sound doctrine, that the aged men be sober, grave, temperate, sound in faith, in charity, and patience. Titus 2.10 The aged women likewise, that they be in behavior as becometh holiness, not false accusers, not given to much wine, teachers of good things, <laughs> that they may teach thee young women to be sober, to love their husbands, to love their children, to be discreet, chaste, keepers at home, good, obedient to their own husbands, that the word of God not be blasphemed. Young men likewise exert to be sober-minded, in all things shewing thyself a pattern of good works, in doctrine shewing uncorruptness, gravity, sincerity, sound speech that cannot be condemned, that he is of the contrary part may be ashamed, having no evil thing to say of you. Exhort servants to be obedient unto their own masters, and to please them well in all things, not answering again, not purloining, but shewing in good fidelity, that they may adorn the doctrine of God our... <clears throat> Savior in all things. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men. me to live is Christ, and to die is to gain. This is Philippians 1.30. But if I live in the flesh, this is the fruit of my labor, yet I shall choose I what not. <clears throat> Nevertheless, to abide in the flesh is more needful for you. And having this confidence, I know that I shall abide and continue with you all for your furtherance and joy of faith, that your rejoicing may be more abundant in Jesus Christ for me by my coming to you again. Luke 8, 27. When he went forth to the land, there met him out of the city of a certain man, 
which had devils long time, and wear no clothes, neither abode in any house, but in the tombs. When he saw Jesus, he cried out and fell down before him, and with a loud voice said, What have I do with thee, Jesus, thou Son of God most high? I beseech thee, torment me not. For he had commanded the unclean spirit to come out of the man. For oftentimes it had caught him, and he was kept bound with chains and in fetters. And he brake the bands and was driven of the devil into the wilderness. And Jesus asked him, saying, What is thy name? And he said, Legion, because many devils were entered into him. And they besought him that he would not command them to go out into the deep. And there was there and heard of many swine feeding on the mountain. And they besought him that he would suffer them and to enter into them. And he suffered them. Then went the devils out of the man and entered into the swine. And the herd ran violently down a steep place into the lake and were choked. When they that fed him saw what was done, they fled and told it in the city and in the country. Then they went out to see what was done and came to Jesus and found the man <clears throat> out of whom the devils were departed, sitting at the feet of Jesus clothed and in his right mind, and they were afraid. They also saw it told them by what means he that was possessed of the devils was healed. Then the whole multitude of the country of the Garderus, Garderness round about besought to him to depart from them, for they were taken with great fear, and he went up into the ship and returned back again. Now the man out of whom the devils were departed besought him that he might be with him but Jesus sent him away, saying, Return to thine own house, and shew how great things God hath done unto thee. And he went his way, and published throughout the whole city how great things Jesus had done to him. And it came to pass that when Jesus was returned, the people gladly received him, for they were all waiting for him. And behold, there came a man named Jairus, and he was the ruler of the synagogue, and he fell down at Jesus' feet, and he would besought him that he would become into his house. For he had only one daughter, about twelve years of age, and she lay a-dying. But as he went, the people thronged him. And a woman having an issue of blood twelve years, which had spent all her living upon physicians, neither could be healed of any, came behind him and touched the border of his garment. And immediately her issue of blood stanched. And Jesus said, who touched me? When all denied, Peter and they that were with him said, Master, the multitude throng thee and press thee, and sayest thou who touched me? And Jesus said, Somebody hath touched me, for I perceive that virtue is gone out of me. And when the woman saw that she was not hid, she came trembling and falling down before him. She declared unto him before all the people for what cause she had touched him and how she was healed immediately and he said unto her daughter be of good comfort thy faith had made thee whole go in peace while he yet spake there cometh one from the ruler of the synagogue's house saying to him thy daughter is dead trouble not the master but when jesus heard it he answered him saying fear not believe only and she shall be made whole and when he came into the house, he suffered no man to go in, he suffered no man to go in, save Peter and Jesus and James and John, and the father and the mother of the of the maiden. And all wept and bewailed her, but he said, Weep not, she is not dead, but sleepeth. And they laughed him to scorn, knowing that she was dead. And he put them all out and took her by the hand and called, saying, Maid, arise. And her spirit came again, and she rose straight away and commanded to give her meat.
and her parents were astonished. <clears throat> Go on. <clears throat> 